It's Ligaya and welcome to the very first gameplay episode of my newest series. So today I'm going to be starting, officially starting, Shadow Moon Legacy. This challenge was created by Simbones and I just did it because I love vampires, I love vampire movies, and I think I need a little fantasy moment in my life. I'm also currently doing realistic non-magical series, so it'll be fun to do something like this. And also, earlier today, I know this was late because I run into so many errors. My computer was unusable for a couple of days, like I was wondering why, and then I realized that my my computer was only detecting half of my RAM because I cleaned my computer and then yeah, I removed that stuff like the RAM and everything else. I cleaned it. So when I did, apparently, yeah, it did not <laughs> really lock in place. So I, I was like crying. I almost gave up and then I just watched a YouTube tutorial. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, it's really that simple. Yeah, <laughs> I have to do that more watching tutorials on YouTube instead of like freaking the fuck out because oh my god, I almost had a breakdown. <laughs> But yeah, also earlier today when I was trying to record this, there were like two separate earthquakes and it was kind of, it was kind of strong. But anyways, this is our sim. Her name is Wang Taeyeon. Taeyeon or Tae or Taeyeoni is a newborn vampire who went out of control because of her hunger because prior to waking up, she was asleep for three months because before that, she was bitten by a vampire when she was on her death's door when she was really so close to dying. 
because she was beaten up to death by her bully and she was only subdued even if she was feral by Mikhail and Alice, their older, more skilled vampires. But you can't say that they did not struggle because newborn vampires, when they're bloodthirsty, they are technically close to being unstoppable forces because they are so unpredictable. And she was between sleeping and waking for one more week until the effects of this marking I said this was a rune, but it's not really a rune. Yeah, it's a marking that managed to finally make her come back to herself. Now she is so bored in her cell. There's not much to do in here. There are books, but she've already read this. There's a TV and stuff, but all she finds in here are really boring old movies because actually she's been staying here for two days now and they're only giving her food when she is asleep so she hasn't talked to anyone as well but also she has a few questions like why do they have this place are they running inhumane experiments here were the people that were buried upstairs a victim to these people too what exactly is going on because this looks like an enclosure for multiple people and she's obviously passed by them when she was she was brought here and aside from the feeling of being bored you can also say that she gets uncomfortable she gets angry of what has happened to her and also by the fact that she was almost killed by her bully and even if her mom was not kind to her what's going through her mind is that did she at least call the police the three months that i was not home like anywhere there, anytime there, did she at least call the police? Did she at least worry that I did not come back home? Because even if her mom was a pain in her ass, she was still her mom. And yeah, she was, uh, I guess, she loved her mom still. And earlier, I did say that she noticed that these people would just give her food when she was already asleep. They would bring her this fruit, and this is sort of like her food because she, it looks like she is on a fruit diet. And it's a fruit that she doesn't know what's the name of it, but it does taste like bud, it smells like blood, and normally that would make her gag if she were human, but it's all that she can eat in here, and it's very yummy for her. Like, it's really the start of the changes in her body, and aside from the changes in her body as well, she realize too that she won't be able to see herself in the mirror which i guess is sad because i mean she's pretty it also feels like it's a symbol that she would have to be invisible in the society and just hide herself really also no one had told her that vampires have a sleep schedule of morning it's because they haven't really started the training for becoming a vampire just yet or like the training for fledglings it's and I guess also, they're trying to condition her body first. And this thing has just made her feel so unchallenged. Because genius sims need mental stimulation, and she's not getting any of that. By the way, her traits are that she's a genius, a bookworm, and a perfectionist. Now, it looks like she does have to take a shower and also eat. Yeah, she is kind of low on her thirst already. And uh, why do we have a glass of water on top of this? Just clean it up. They also just gave her one set of clothes. Like, it's that bad. It's always so funny to me that they had to treat it like a Capri Sun. <laughs> I don't know, it's cute. Girl, there's nothing to be happy about in your life. Sims, cooperate. Now, Allison is just gonna wake up. And did this really ruin my shot? Because I didn't know she was gonna wake up that way. <laughs> I'm just trying to make this look as visually stunning as possible. I don't know. <laughs> this is also the time where and she usually feeds the fledgling that they've got. So she's gathering some blood fruits from the blood fruit trees. And also right here, there are some other trees that she can get to. So she's also just gonna harvest it. And this world is just stunning in this reshade. The difference is just... See that? stunning i have her vampire run enable and i just don't understand why she's not using it i mean it's one of the coolest abilities that vampires have ever but yeah for some reason she's not using it like as always i even have her i have it enabled and i also have it like you know uh okay i guess she's not gonna run <laughs> what was that why did you not do it like upstairs she only did it inside, girl. What's your problem? But anyways, let's just put these in here. So we have about 13. I'm gonna give you 3. 
or four, five, <laughs> that'll, that will probably be enough. Then, sensing that there's another presence in the room, she woke up and actually she's gonna talk with Alison real quick. So, she is saying that, hey, I really appreciate the food, the books that you've sent to me, but I've already read them. And I also appreciate that the TV that you lent me. However, is there any way for me to like go outside? I am dying in here. It smells so bad, to be honest with you. It smells like... It smells like dust in here. So please, can I just go outside? And she's explaining that, I'm so sorry, you can't just yet go outside. There are so many things that we need for you to do. However, if you're so keen on like going outside, um, I guess we should get started on like the training. But this would mean that you'll have to stay here for like a couple of days at least. Um, depending on how you finish this book. Oh, book, book. I actually do want some books myself, so if you could like give me the books, that'd be so great. And she's like, okay, I will just have to get them, just wait here. And she'll just have to rummage in here. And it seems like we have to feed again because we're just hungry all the time. Okay. And it's like so freaky. You can see the food and the straw floating around. Like that's... I would be freaked out. <laughs> How many do you have to eat just for you to be full? Like, do you actually need to eat all five? Alright. <laughs> yeah, she needs to eat at least like six. Or if she's really, really hungry, we haven't eaten in a while, I feel like she'd have to eat then. So yeah, this is not, this is gonna be, yeah, not really great for her. But that's really just the option right now, that and blood bags, like as you can see right here. However, blood bags are not really like the safest option for fledglings because again, they would get um, unpredictable at the smell, at the taste of blood. They can't control their urges, so they may harm other people. They've seen it happen before, right in this very wall. So they're just trying to be, um, how do you say this? Like, cautious? She's also quite hungry herself, so she's just saying that, Hey, um, if you don't need anything else, I'm just gonna go here and like eat my own food because I'm hungry and also, just read that. It would probably take a couple of days for you to finish. And she's like, oh my gosh, is that a challenge? She's a genius, okay. <laughs> and also a bookworm. So I'll just give her like half a day or a day we'll see like see that we just discovered vampire secrets and you since you are there why don't you go ahead and eat your food of course she is not gonna go hunting it's because she is so afraid to disappointing vlad and if they hunt again or like endanger some more humans after you know the person she has bit had just um killed one then it's kind of like signing her death sentence <laughs> Look at you learning already! So this section says some vampires are guilty about having to feed on sims and do everything they can to avoid it. Hmm. And also, we just unlocked the vampire tome. Theon has discovered the Von Flavius Vampire Emporium while searching for vampires. She can now purchase Encyclopedia Vampirica Volume 1 on the computer under Vampire Secrets. So she realized that, oh, you can order this from somewhere. It's actually available on... <laughs> And it can be delivered to you. It's also such a cool book. I guess it's cooler with a reshade because yeah, it does look weirder or like lamer without the reshade. This one is spring bloom by the way, but it's yeah, I tweaked it to suit my own <laughs> my own like preference. Taeyeon has also read that low-level vampires can be trained by higher-level ones, so that must be the reason why they are letting those two um, train her. And she would also want to learn what exactly are the vampire levels. Tay discovered that there is an alternative method for vampires to satisfy their thirst. She can now order blood bags on the computer. And it seems like another one of the vampires is awake and also really hungry. Unlike Alice, he does not really care what Vlad thinks, but he is afraid of him. So what he's gonna do is just go here. There are some animals that vampires can hunt over here, especially if they don't really want to feed on humans. They just have to make sure that they have to do it at night so that no human can see what they're doing. 
because I do admit that's kind of freaky to see. Wow, she's reading this so fast, but they on read that frogs are a valuable source of materials for creating your own blood bags. However, this book, there are passages of it written in like a different language. She cannot decipher like any of those, and the only thing Taeyeon can make out are some symbols that look like the moon. And is that blood? And we just reached what? Vampire lore level 4. Oh my gosh, you're doing so good in this one. Hella scared too because of whatever that she's reading in here and it kind of made her want to try blood bags and also she is breezing through this skill like it's amazing <laughs> wait we just reached level five of the vampire lore skill whoa i'm not even kidding what is happening here like why is she so good at this is it because she is a bookworm but yeah, Theon has also- oh my gosh, we're at level 6 already and we have just learned that some vampires have been observed turning into bats and Theon has exhausted everything that she can learn from this book. If she wishes to continue her research, she's gonna have to ask Alice for it again. And speaking of that, Alice, yeah, she was listening close by, so she's gonna vampirically run through here and also it does not say in the book, but yeah, vampires have superior hearing especially the older ones the more skilled ones then she would ask like yeah is it okay now can i go upstairs now and press she is gonna say of course like okay fine you can go upstairs since you have like um understanding already of what a vampire is and like the basics about being a vampire however we can't go out out it's already three in the morning the sun is slowly peaking and girl you cannot like be touched by the sun at your current state you're gonna burn and do you want that she's like really but it works so hard though she's like oh please it's just for a few more times okay and it's already an unpleasant conversation for the both of them she's like okay fine take me to it then and it's really just one floor up she ends up following her all the way upstairs where she finds this room over here that is sort of full of training equipment and this pretty but also creepy candles and so this is the place where actually we're going to be doing all the trainings for you and if you could stop hissing that would be fine okay so now what do you want to do here there's not really much to do it's just a training space and this is the only space that i'd allow you i would allow you for now because the other ones are kind of closed off you don't have access to it i'm sorry and i think she understands that but she's still kind of bummed about it and she's saying that oh if you have any questions just feel free to ask me because yeah, i guess that's my job in here so she's gonna ask over here uh what exactly is this place then she's like oh you're in forgotten hollow this is where all vampires and supernaturals are safe so yeah it is cloudy in here most of the time and you might even notice that it's cold then they goes no what i meant is what is this place why are we underneath a graveyard why do i live on a cell why am i staying on there why are there so many cells she's saying look i can't tell you all that much but it has something to do with vampiric history because you're not really the first newborn vampire who was feral on the first few you know hours of their waking up you're not the only vampire who had managed to kill a man on their first try and those vampires were kind of we tried to help them so it's just either they're too weak or just unresponsive to the treatments that we are giving them. And then she's asking in here, how am I able to function then? You know, like as a normal person? She's like, oh, it has something to do with the marking that we've left on your hands. We had asked a spellcaster to help us on this one, but it was too late already. Many people, many newborns, many vampires are already dead. And Alice is saying that that does not mean, okay, that that one is permanent. Actually, it's not. That's why we're even training you to handle your own abilities, your own powers in the first place. Because that's gonna go away. And it's only like a one-time use spell. So if you can't manage to control yourself and your abilities, they would have no, no choice, I guess, but to kill you. She's like, excuse me, hold on a second. What? the fuck do you mean that i'm gonna die excuse me 
she's like no you're not girl i'm gonna try my best okay which is why we have this training so yeah you, you won't die probably <laughs> you won't die you would just have to follow everything that we say and speaking of that, let's get started. First, we want to show off our powers. This is the sort of power that you would get if you're a vampire. So you just have to try it on your own. And... Okay, it's not working. But that's fine, you can't perfect it at first. However, you just have to follow, uh, mimic whatever she's doing. Okay, she might be suffering from a little headache or like neck ache from using our powers that's technically normal but tell me if you're feeling like woozy or anything if you want to vomit or something like that because that's totally the case for so many vampires fledglings like yourself okay can you do that and can you stop being so tense <laughs> yeah i feel like she is not really feeling well which is why she had to run to the toilet and vomiting her stomach's contents because she got dizzy all of a sudden and she's like i'm sorry i am so sorry that happened i don't know what got into me i just felt like vomiting during that time and my head hurt so badly then alice goes like hey that's perfectly normal for fledglings okay for newborn vampires like yourself so they're doing some more vampiric trainings over here so that they can make sure she actually learns something she actually is gonna learn something slowly but surely she is catching up not really perfect but it's it's getting there however mikhail suddenly walks in and he is just covered in blood this is not really human blood but animal blood however it still has the same effect especially to newborns who are not aware of what is happening to them just yet and she was about to lunge on him because he had blood on his face however he is far more quicker to get over here to the side of the room so that he can put her on a slumber this is also one of the measures that they had come up with when they were trying to um apprehend her i guess or like to slow her down after what she pulled when she woke up during that time it did not work because she was just too powerful but now that this marking is on her hand we were able to stop her through it then over here they're just having a screaming match because he's saying that i can't believe you had her come up here she's like what is she supposed to do she was already rotting in there and she was ready he's saying like how would you able to tell she was ready we did not have any training at all whatsoever Ever. and how could we you are so adamant to not train her and she's saying do not blame this on her okay you were the one who came here with blood all over your body on your face on your body you came here knowing that there was a newborn vampire that was gonna go crazy at the sight of blood and you still did it anyways so don't try to blame this on her this was all on you then she's gonna say that fine go take a shower go whatever it is that you want to do just leave us alone leave me alone because you are so insufferable right now let me take care of her and let me handle her myself and thus here she is eerily still and when she does wake up in a few hours allison has got some apologizing to do for the behavior of her own brother because she can't believe that he would actually walk to where they were and seemingly trying to sabotage her and her progress she would have to keep an eye out on him because she feels like something's going on like she is and also she feels kind of protective with like tay over here who is by the way yeah she's not dead but she looks like it but she's not however at this point i'm just gonna have to end off this episode right here thank you guys so so much for watching i had so much fun filming this one and there are just some point where and there's a lot of things that are gonna go wrong when it comes to recording but this is a good start we managed to teach they a few things she was able to learn about vampires and we learned that newborns have limits when it comes to learning vampiric powers so i will be ending this episode here i hope you guys enjoyed the very first episode and on another note i'm raising funds for my father's eye surgery so i will be linking it on the descriptions if you guys would like to help so thank you guys so so much for watching once again and i will see you guys again soon bye bye